So to take us further, I would love to introduce to some and to present to others someone who I call a friend, but he's a brother and our very own at the Summit Bible Church. And he's not alone this morning. He's coming up with his very adorable daughter. Please celebrate Mr. Amakri and Jolivia for the Christmas story titled Happy. Can we celebrate? And I've got a nickel. I just gave it to you. And I'll come to stay with you. My name is my ankle. And I've got a nickel to give you now and then. Say my name is Michael. I've got this beautiful nickel and I've come to stay with you. My name is Michael. I've got the nickel to give you now and then. That's the smile. You know, Christmas is one season that everybody enjoys. Yeah. The story of Christmas is eternal. From where I stand, I think God planned it that through all cultures it will be told. Now, you know, when you look at your uh, comic books, stories, and all that, you hear one city is in a problem and uh, one mighty somebody comes through to save them. Yada, yada, yada. Just like the story of Hercules. Yeah. Now, this is how I like to look at the story of Christmas through my comic books. Superman. Superman? Yes. So I'm going to tell you that story. So how am I going to begin it? Should we say story, story, once upon a time? Or once upon an eternity. Once upon an eternity. There you have it. So, the story of Superman, I love comics, which you know, yeah. is about someone. Okay, before it came, the earth went through something called the World War One and Two. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I won't bore you with the story. So two friends were looking for how to inspire the world. Mm -hmm. One was a journalist, the other an illustrator. They have a Jewish background. They were Jews. So they thought of how to inspire the world. They went into their history and they came upon the story of Moses. You know Moses? Yeah, I do. He was born put in a basket. And where did they keep him? In the river bank. Yeah, the river bank, exactly. So they thought of it. I said, okay, we're going to take something from there and create the story of Superman. Now, the story of Superman is about a man who came from another planet far, far away through the galaxies of stars and he got to Earth in a capsule. A capsule? Just like, yes, a capsule just like Moses, who came through the river Nile in a basket, and Jesus, who was born where? Um, in a manger. In a manger, yeah. In a stable, kept in a basket. Now, his name was called, his father called him Carl El. Carl El. Yes, and the father's name was Jorel. Jorel. 
Yes. The meaning of Kal El is the breath of God. And the meaning of Jorel is divine descent. Exactly. So divinity came down speaking his words to his creation to save them. And he had this symbol on his chest. People think it's S. It's not an S. It's like a winding path. What's the color on it? Red. Red signifying the blood of Jesus. of Jesus. But you know what? The bad guys came for Superman. <gasps> yes. They did what they knew to do. And it was like Superman was no more. Wrong. He came back. Yay! Yes, he did. Just like Jesus who came as a child. But you know he's coming back again. Yeah. As what? A, a king. king. And that brings so much joy and happiness. It takes me to the next song I want to do for you. You want to listen to it? Yes. Yeah. And we are going to swing along. Beautiful. Mommy, 
service. We're looking for you now. We gotta go. We gotta go. Bye.